Hey everyone and welcome to Wicked Weasel's YouTube channel today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am your host Phoebe and this is... Hi, I'm Luana. You would have seen her in our beautiful outfits like this beautiful dress here. Do you want to do a little tour? Yeah. <laughs> and so many other outfits as well that you can see on wickedweasel.com. So we wanted to make a little video, I'm super excited about it. We wanted to show you around the Gold Coast some of our favorite spots to eat and to get a drink, like a coffee, and um, all the cool areas uh, around because our store is here, as you might know, Coast Culture in Southport. So we just wanted to show you other things that you can do when you visit the Gold Coast. So make sure you stick around and come with us. So the first thing that we have to do, obviously when we come to Ghost, is... Visit the beach. Visit the beach. <laughs> <laughs> brought Luana to one of my favorite beaches on the coast which is Cooley because the water is so beautiful here and it's nice and relaxed and not too many people it's not overpopulated and <laughs> exactly and uh, we can get a nice spot on the beach and have um, get some nice tan and obviously we're wearing our bikinis from Wicked Weasel so I hope you enjoy come for a swim with us let's go <laughs> Bikini. Where's that from? Um, it's a shop called Wicked Weasel. <laughs> I think I heard of it. That's cool. <laughs> I love that. Acai is a really great go-to. It gives you great energy. It's got antioxidants. So I'm really keen for that. Let's go to Oak Berry Acai. This is classic acai. 
favorite areas Burley James Street to do my shopping like gift shopping and things because there's so many cute little boutiques that you can get really original special pieces from so stick around and we'll show you some of the nice places Banana. <laughs> I'm gonna break it. <laughs> okay, we couldn't go past these delicious frozen bananas with chocolate on them. So delicious. Such a good treat. Had them all the time growing up. <laughs>
in Mermaid Beach at the moment and I wanted to bring Luana to this really cute little cafe called Marie Antonia's and I've been here before in the past and I absolutely love the food so I had to bring Luana here to check it out and I'm really excited. Uh, we've ordered the little toasty, I think it's a cauliflower toasty and the blue corn nachos so we're really excited about that. What do you make at home and then what do you like to eat like out of the cafes and things? My go-to food to make at home would probably be like omelettes. Mm. It's like the easiest thing for me. Mm -hmm. But my mum makes this Brazilian food like feijão. Mm. It's black beans and rice, it's so good. Mm -hmm. And uh, to go out would be sushi. Mm. Sushi's nice. Yeah. Have you ever made that? Yeah, I have. It's pretty good. Hey? It's, it's so fun. easy to make too. So yeah. It saves so much money but it's just seen like I enjoy going out and getting it. Totally. <laughs> I love sushi as well. I love avocado and like tempura veggie and mm -hmm. things and that yummy sweet salsa they put on it. Mm. So good. I really love nachos and I actually mm -hmm. really love toasty. So these are both yeah. tick my boxes. Um, I like textures though, like like the chips and like if the chips were in a sandwich kind of thing, I like that crunch. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, and then salads like with seeds and things on them. Yeah. That's really nice. I also love like fruit in salads, like mm. grapes and oranges and peaches. I don't know. Yeah, a, ma a mix of stuff. If it's like a pasta or something, I want it to be like really hot and the cheese to be melted. Oh, so like hot, like hot, hot, not yeah. spicy hot. Yeah, yeah. I like a little bit of spice. I'm not yeah. too good with it. How are you with spice? I'm pretty good. I've mm. gotten a lot better because mm. my boyfriend really likes spices, mm. and all of my friends are addicted to spices. So. Living with them because like, I used to like, you know, live mm. with your friends and friends. Yeah. I have done my spice tolerance is definitely built up. Mm. Mm. Do you have favorite restaurants and stuff that you go to? My favorite restaurant would definitely be it's in Byron Bay. It's a Japan. It's called Japanese Kitchen. Oh yeah. It's a Japanese restaurant. It's yeah. like super small, mm. but it's so nice. The food mm. is amazing. Nice. That's like my go-to. Love for it for a date or anything. Oh cute. Yeah. What about you? Mm. It's a hard one. There's so many good ones. Mm -hmm. mm. I love the Pro Demo mm -hmm. in Miami. Really? I don't good. think I've been there. Mm. I would have checked. I would have shown you that one too, but it's not open on Tuesdays, which is really strange. <laughs> That's why I was like, damn, it's Tuesday. <laughs> but I love it there. Their menu is like a range of all sorts of different foods. Like that's pretty cool. Yeah, so there's like Italian stuff like lasagnas and things, and then there's like subway type long things, and then that's there's sick. burgers, and then like stir fry type really things. Curries. Diverse. Yeah, it's really versatile. It's great. Amazing. It is so spicy. Is it? Mmm. 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 <laughs> yeah. Mm. Made nachos with a fork. Mm -hmm. It's different. This is just get your hands in there. This is just how the Brazilians say it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it? No. <laughs> I feel like they eat with their hands. Is that? Can you feel? Oh, just like nachos. Mm. Yeah. Oh, but with pe pizza. Mm. In Brazil, we eat with knife and fork. Really? That's so interesting. Well, when I went there, mm. I ate with a knife and fork. How random. It, they're so big. Mm. You can't really hold it because mm. they're kind of like floppy. Because mm -hmm. like, pizza hard or anything mm -hmm. here is like straight. Mm. Just like that. Little pieces. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Interesting. What would be your least favorite food? I'm trying to think of something that I still eat, but I'm not a big fan of. Because, like, one thing I don't eat meat or anything. You, are you vegetarian? Yeah. Or vegan. Oh, you're vegan? Yeah. Cool. So I don't really eat um, meat or dairy. Mm hmm So that would, like, be my go-to, but I'm trying to think of something I still eat. Yeah. But I'm pretty, like, open-minded. Mm -mm. Vegan cheese. There's, like, a bunch. There's, like, cashew cheese, soy yeah. cheese. 
because I have many shitty like I'm better and stuff and really yummy. Oh yeah. Um yeah, that's a really hard one. I really love food. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? What's something you really don't like? I used to hate tomatoes when I was oh, younger. Really? But now I can now I can eat them. So I hate wasabi. Mm. I hate I'm wasabi. Not a big fan I just don't like it. It's like different to like a red chili. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's spice. It's not because of the spice. Mm. It's the actual taste of wasabi. Mm. Not a fan. Mm. I hate it. Well, I got food poisoning in Brazil with really? sushi. Oh no. And I had wasabi on it. Mm. So I can't ever eat wasabi mm. ever again. Terrible. No wonder. Mm. Yeah. It just traumatizes your taste buds. Yeah. Okay. That or like anchovies. Mmm. Yeah, I don't think that would be very nice. No! Oh <laughs> no! Don't be on the bit. I just think I'm a really messy eater. <laughs> okay, guys, we are done. Look at these beautiful little stack of plates. <laughs> that was so yummy. I really enjoyed my toasty. How was your nachos? It was amazing. Really yummy. I ate the rest of her tomatoes because <laughs> I love them. But that was super delicious. Thank you so much for having us. And we will see you next time. Moving on to our next activity. you liked all the places that we took you, we went to the, one of our favourite beaches uh, to have a nice swim or refreshing and then we did a little bit of shopping around Burley James Street which is really nice and now um, we've also just been to eat at Maria Antonia's uh, little gluten free bakery which I really loved. Did you like that food there? I really loved it. It was so yummy. Awesome. So yeah. I hope you really enjoyed and obviously we're gonna our last last stop is going to be Cross Culture in Southport. So make sure if you're in the area to check all these places that we looked at today and visited and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thanks so much. Make sure you like and subscribe before you go and we will see you around the block. Bye.